Republicans. How many Republicans? I won't give you a number, but I've talked to many um, who probably won't go public, but silently they're they're breathing a sigh of relief. Everyone is. You can look at the numbers and the votes of this. This bill was passed without a majority of Republicans. This is a Democrat budget, and it was passed by Mike Johnson. Should Johnson <laughs> step down? Should Johnson just step down? That would be a choice that he would have to make, but we're going to have to find a new speaker. Congressman, Congressman, you, Congressman, Congressman, you saw what happened in the fall. We saw one, we saw one, we saw one, you know, speaker candidate after another fall short of getting the votes necessary. You can't, I mean, how could you possibly even find someone to succeed Mike Johnson who could get the votes, keep this conference together, and not plunge this chamber into chaos? We're going to have to do it because the country is in crisis. We have a border invasion that's happening every single day. We have uh, Americans under the age of 30, for the first time at showing in all types of polling, have lost hope for their future. The, the younger generations can't afford to buy a home. Inflation is running rampant. Our country is in crisis, and we need real leaders that know how to fight, that know how to walk in a room, and don't get rolled by the deep state, and don't get rolled by the Democrats, and don't get rolled into doing whatever it takes to maintain that power and position. We need a Speaker of the House that actually represents the people. This is the people's house. This is not Washington, D.C.'s house. This is the people's house, and that matters. Just to follow up on that, though, Ukraine. Ukraine. Just to follow up on that though you're calling this a pink slip, a warning sign. The bottom line, you want Speaker Johnson out. I, well, I wouldn't have filed a motion to vacate if right, I didn't. Right, we but, need a new Speaker. This is not personal against Mike Johnson. He's a very good man, and I, I have respect for him as a person, but he is not doing the job. The proof is in the vote count today. He passed a budget that should have never been brought to the floor, did not represent our conference, and it was passed with the Democrats and without so the majority of the majority. What, happen, what happens if he moves on Ukraine? What happens if he moves on any aid to Ukraine? That would also go against what the American people want. Polling shows that it's approximately 70 percent of the American people do not support continuing a, a, a war in Ukraine. Would that, would that trigger? Would that be a triggering event for you? The motion to vacate's already been filed. No, no, would you call it up? Would you call it up? Should if you want? Not, he should not straw? bring funding for Ukraine. Just to clarify, thank you, sir. Thank you. You are saying you will call for this vote, or are you saying you're still saying this? I know you said no time. I'm saying, saying that we've started the clock happen. to start the process to elect a new speaker, Can and and I'm it? I'm giving my conference time. I'm being respectful to my conference, but many members in my conference agree. Even though it's uncomfortable, it's a process none of us want to go through, it has to happen. So this is kind of a way to avoid Can you be teaming with Democrats as well by ousting the Speaker of the House, just like Speaker Johnson did on teaming with Democrats in the House. Yes, right. uh, we have to find a new Speaker of the House. I'm not sure how that vote count would be, and I'm, I'm, I've heard a lot of Democrats may support him, so I'm not sure how that works out. If they do out. that, don't you worry that you're basically pushing him or, or any new speaker into the arms of Democrats because like at a certain he's point already in the arms of Democrats well, and the, Democrats. It's, it's proof in the vote count today this was a Democrat bill this was not a Republican bill we weren't allowed to introduce amendments we weren't allowed to have a say. We weren't even given the, the respect of the 72-hour rule to read 1,012 pages. So you think it, was, it would be better to shut the government down then? I mean, you were up against the clock. Would it have been better to it shut It would the have been down? better uh, to, back in October when he became speaker to have actually worked on appropriation bills, stayed with uh, single appropriation bills, and done what all of us had set out to do. Could you guys bring McCarthy back? Could you guys, bring I'm McCarthy back? Do you down. think there would be the votes for that? I mean, technically, you didn't have to be a member. I mean, seriously. I know you supported him. Do you really think that there's someone who can get 218 votes to become Speaker of the House? I, I certainly hope so. I mean, it was so hard so. to go the last time. You're going to go through. It was hard to go the last time, but look at where we are now. We ju the, they just passed a funding bill that doesn't secure our border, does nothing to stop the daily invasion. This this budget funds full term abortion. It funds DEI. It funds trans ideology on our youth as young as 12 years old. Uh, we're already in crisis. So is this, it's, is this no, the fight it's that you, for it, real leadership. Is this the fight it's you the, want to have in an election year? Absolutely. It's the fight I want to have in an election year because, damn it, I want to win that House. I want to win the White House. I want to win the Senate. And I want to restore this country back to greatness again, back to safety, back to security for every single American. Because right now we don't have it, and that's the fault of Democrats and the Biden administration. Congressman, you're against